Hey guys, Clawwolf here, and I'm back today with another video. And this video is a highly requested video. Um, I had at least two people request it before, and it's how to make an adventure map itself. So, I mean, at first glance, that question may seem a little bit kind of ridiculous. Like, oh, you just make an adventure map, it's simple, or how to make it a map, or whatever. So, um, the question asked was, like, how to make a map. So today we're going to be going over how to make an adventure map in specific, and I will probably cover how to make other kinds of maps. But I would have to go with the first step to making a map would be inspiration. You have to have, be inspired by something to build a map. Whether it's you're walking down the street and you see, I don't know, a man get mugged. I don't know, but you see something happen or you think of something that you think might be interesting and uh, pretty much inspiration. So a lot of my maps are inspired by different things that I see. I mean, it's just sometimes it just randomly comes to mind. Um, but the first step will be inspiration. If you don't have, if you're not inspired to do something specifically for a map, you're not going to have a map. You have to know what you want to do or what exact or a rough idea of how the story is going to go. And um, from there, you can kind of develop things like story development and whatnot. But first, you have to know what you want to do. So as I do this series, we're actually, this mini series or whatever, I'm, we're actually going to be making a adventure map. Not one in particular that I'm going to post or anything, but just one for an example. So let's start with an idea. So here's our, here's the idea that I'm going to use, which just randomly comes to mind. It's really stupid, but uh, it's just for an example. Anyway, so the first idea would be, um, let's say... We could do a map where you're a villager and your house gets robbed and it's and you have to go on a journey to try and find the culprit and get your money back or whatnot. So we're going to just what I start do is just name it world or something like new world or like blank or adventure map. And I know that since I want to do kind of a villager thing, I'm going to go into creative and let's see, I'm going to set it to a creative world of course because that's what you always want to do and I use, I like to set my stuff to super flat and kind of alter the world from there but since this is going to be an adventure-y one, um, I would just put it on the default and then create new world. So obviously the second step would be creating a world. So if you're creating a map and you know that you don't need a lot of landscape you can create a super flat world, and that really helps uh, kind of ease up lag and whatnot. But I knew that for this map, we're going to want some landscape. So next up is um, just start to build. What I do first is I start to build. So I know that I want to build a villager's uh, a story about, not necessarily a villager, but a guy who gets his house robbed and he wants to get his stuff back. So what you got to think, like, what are you going to need to build? So, you start by, say, building a house, and I'm going to put it into time-lapse mode where I build a little house that is uh, kind of simple, and when you're building, your buildings kind of get materials needed, kind of get things that may give you a theme, like my theme here is going to be wood and cobblestone, so it's going to be kind of a newbie house, but we're going to have wood, cobblestone, oak wood, and I'll try and make it look pretty nice with the combination of different materials. But this is going to be a pretty basic house, and uh, I'll get back to you guys once we're done.
Okay, so now we have the basic structure down, and next up what you're going to want to do is kind of build some inside stuff. So this is starting to feel like I'm doing a tutorial on how to build, which I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on. So I'm not going to specifically show how to build a house or how to do that. Um, I'm just going kind of quick, but um, one thing that you need to pay attention to when you're building a map is detail. A lot of times uh, people can just not... Uh, just kind of ignore little details and focus on the map itself and that's kind of one of the most important part having little details kind of help make the map seem a lot more uh, interesting uh, for example in a lot of my maps I have like house I decorate the houses and say uh, the, a weekend in Hartsvaleville I week I decorated like the houses I decorated all the insides I even decorated a house that players don't even go in but it just ends up looking a lot better that way and uh, I don't know why, but details seem to work a lot better if you have them rather than not. Anyway, so now we're going to build some details and then I'll be back. Okay, so now we're pretty much done with the house. We have our inside. Here's some details if you want to look. Kind of a plate or whatever you may think of this is. You have a little chair here. You have a bedroom. You have your wardrobe closet, etc. You have all this stuff. And um, now I would move on to step three, which now that you have a build and you kind of have an idea of what the map is going to be, now you can, as, like, as I was going along, I started to think of ideas of what to do so as i was building it i was thinking why don't we have a um so he you wake up in the morning you look in your large chest and everything's gone you're like uh we could have the players we could have also the players start outside they have to go home they go into the house they uh they look in the chest they know that there's stuff in there somehow allow them to know that or have them check the chest um and then say go to bed and then wake up in the morning and everything is gone so uh, we have a rough idea of what we want to happen and kind of the storyline that goes along with it. If you want to, a good idea, and this is what I do for a lot of my maps, is I have a pen and paper, just write down ideas when, uh, when I'm away and I can't work on the map itself. I write down ideas of things that I can do. So now step three, and this could also be step two, which I just thought of uh, is really necessary, is to set your scoreboards. So I'm going to, uh, your game rules. So you want to set game rule. And you type slash game rule, and this is changed game rule. So I'm going to do do daylight cycle and type false so that when I set the time to zero, it'll be daytime. And then there's tons of other ones you can do. I'm going to also do do mob spawning to false. That way mobs don't naturally spawn in the world. Um, also want to do keep invent inventory true that way you keep your inventory and then another good one is do fire tick false which makes it so fire doesn't spread or doesn't burn things if you have lava next to it and i think one of the last one, uh, the next two that are really important is mob griefing false and also command command block output false so you don't need any command blocks to technically make an adventure map but I really suggest using at least basic command blocks, which I actually have some basic command block tutorials and some other videos. Um, and you can check those out and they show how to do basic commands like tell raw, which will make your map really look nice. And you could also use slash say, which works too. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So as long as you have at least a few of the basic categories, there would be, um, I would say some of the basic categories for the map for maps are story, uh, build like design or build um, difficulty because sometimes if it's a rage map I mean that can really affect the difficulty of the map can really affect it um, another one I would say is uh, intricacy like how complex things are maybe you have uh, which kind of goes along with design but I'm saying as in like complexity of the commands itself and whatnot so like say you using the difference between using slash say and using slash tell raw slash tell raw will have like colorful 
uh, words of display, and that can really be nice to see. And uh, but slash say is just normal, so I would say a map is better if it uses tell raw, but it doesn't necessarily need it as long as the other categories are in good shape. So if you have a map that has uh, a good story, very an entertaining, engaging story, and you have pretty good builds, like I would consider this house a decent build. I'm not in any ways an amazing builder, so I'm not going to make like any tutorials on how to build things. But uh, if it has a decent build, like if I saw a map like with builds that looked like this, like buildings look like this, and uh, say battle areas that look like this, and it used slash say, I would be totally fine with it. I mean, like this is a pretty good, as long as the story's good and this build is decent, I don't really care for Tell Raw. But uh, everything, every little bit can help your map. So uh, I think for step four, Wait, or more like step three. I, I don't really consider the game rules an important step. Uh, I would I would just say more building. If you know what you want to build, build more. If you don't know what you want to build, then start working on uh, start working on coding and teleporting the player and using all those commands and stuff. And if you don't know those commands or don't know how those work, you, you can just do whatever you know how to uh, work. And if you need to learn some of those commands, you can just check out my videos again at the Command Block Academy. I'm only at episode 2 right now. I need to make episode 3, and there's a lot of commands to go over, so those will have a lot of episodes in the future. Hopefully those will come out in time so that I can have these videos up. But what I'm going to do right now is just keep building because that is just what you need to do. It, uh, it really helps establish uh, a, an easier way to make your map if you have everything built. So I'm going to start building a little bit uh, for what I have planned. I have planned that the player is going to wake up, see everything's gone, and they're going to immediately follow a trail which leads them to a place where they think the items could be. And that trail is probably going to be maybe a blood trail. Possibly. Um, or I'll, no, I'll just use a diamond shovel trail. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little gravel trail. Gonna have these things and uh, whatnot. So um, I'll catch you guys later. Okay, so that's what I did for step four. I built a little more, and as you can see, you travel a very long distance from your house, which uh, kind of adds time to the game. That's always good. And I'm probably going to make a little uh, hole in the floor right there. And um, this is where we're kind of trying to uh, kind of lead different things into the map. So here we can have a little switch with a piston and create kind of like a piston door but not very complex I'm trying to keep things really simple for this map uh, just so that it doesn't cover too many complex subjects uh, like say command blocks and stuff I'll probably have a couple command blocks but uh, and a couple redstone, but not too much redstone contraptions. So anyway, so we're gonna go into this, and there you go. Now we should have our little trap door, which is not very hidden, but that's all right. For... Oh. Well, I'll work on making this trap door a little bit uh, better uh, in the future, but whatever. The point being. We're going to have the player uh, discover this hidden back entrance or somehow discover this pathway in the back made out of uh, 
basically pushed in dirt. So you're going to follow the pathway. They're going to follow all the way along here. They're going to travel really far. And this is where difficulty kind of comes into play. It's really easy to travel this pathway. So perhaps you could have it so that it gradually becomes night or it's close to night. And, uh, and you're traveling on this pathway. Or it's just daytime and you're traveling on this pathway. And you encounter uh, maybe mob spawners that have... Uh, zombies in them or whatnot to make it a little bit harder and uh, anyway so they lead to this cave and this is a suspicious cave and I'm going to have to build the cave itself but this is where they find a cave and basically the journey continues and another tip is you can go into game mode 3 if you want to find some nearby things or see if there's a nearby cave or maybe a nearby stronghold uh, but the point being uh, you can use for this for this instance you can use other modes and different things to kind of help you guide your map so I'm just looking around to see if there's anything nearby and it doesn't look like there's anything nearby so we're gonna have to just make our own cave but if there was say a stronghold you could use that too anyway so now moving on to like I'd say step like five um, and really there's not a set amount of steps when you're making an adventure map you kind of just go with the flow how you feel it if you know, if you're like, oh, I have an idea for something that I want to do in the map and it has building required, you can just go and build and take your time, build at your own pace or whatever. Uh, and if you think of an idea like something specific, like, oh, I want the player to do this and that, or oh, I want him to say this or that, try writing it down or typing it down somewhere so you don't forget it, because uh, a lot of that stuff you forget and that'll ruin your map or whatnot. And, uh, like, in the, for this instance, I already have an idea for how the map's going to end, but I'm not going to tell you guys right now. So, um, that's about all I'll cover in one episode for today. Uh, if you want to see other more specific things or different things when making an adventure map, just leave a comment on what exactly it is you want to see. If this is working out pretty well for you, you kind of understand what I'm saying, and you can kind of follow what I'm trying to say. Uh, just leave that a like or something in the comments that says like uh, useful or something in the comments that says like oh I like the way this is going uh, so what I'm trying to go for is just showing you how to showing people how to make an adventure type map uh, by making an adventure type map and kind of going through what I'm thinking as I build it anyway guys so that's all I'm gonna build today because this is practically building an adventure map or a half adventure map so it's definitely gonna take more than one video and it's gonna take me quite a while but I plan to make more episodes in the future if you found this helpful uh, other than that guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you all later